Right guys, so guess who slid into my DMs? It was the one and only broccoli, pizza and pasta. And they invited me down. I'm like, well, of course I'm gonna come down. I love food. They went, no, we want you to come and eat one of everything on the menu. And I'm like, I feel like you're challenging me. And you know what I'm like with a challenge? So I just came out here to Covent Garden, come and got my eat on and let's see what this place is about. Let's go. Yes, I'm here down at Broccoli Pizza and Pasta and I'm so excited to just go through the menu. Now, you, what I love about this place is you can just customise your pasta and your pizza exactly how you want it. So I've got my pasta, I've got a tagliatelle, I've got it exactly how I get my chow mein. So I've got it with prawns, I've got it with beef, I've got some mushrooms in there, jalapenos, I like a bit of spice, I've got some garlic chucked in um, and also some chilies. And then my pizza is banging. If you don't like the pizza the way I like my pizza, then you need to get your head checked. I've got pepperonis, I've got spicy sausage, I've got jalapenos and pineapples. And if you do not like pineapples on your pizza, ah, oh mate, we're gonna have this, this is debate. But in the comments below, I wanna see if you like your pineapples on your pizza. I think it's a must. I've got some clean, fresh orange juice. Everything about this meal just feels healthy and clean. I don't feel like I'm gonna feel bad after this, like if I eat loads of pe um, like if I eat loads of burgers. So I can't wait to get into this. Oh, let's, where do I start? I think I'm gonna start with a soup, soup game. Oh my god, this, mm. this pizza is bad. Wow. Mm. This pizza, come down here for the pizza alone. This is sick. Mm. Team jalapeno. Team Pineapple, comment down below. Oh yeah. I'm gonna dip this pizza up in the lasagna because I just get freaked like that. I don't like to go against the script. Mm. Oh, the lasagna's on point. Oh yeah. Pasta game is strong. Pasta game is strong. So if you'd like the concept of Subway where you choose what you want to go in your in your bread and in your sandwich, it's very similar but it's better. Would you rather have pizza and choose what you go in there and pasta and choose what you go in there or a sandwich? Come on mate. Get back to same bit if that's what you're all about. Exactly how you want it cooked. Mm. Now, I would never usually go somewhere and order a salad, but this chicken Caesar salad is actually looking on point. It might change my whole outlook. Mm. Alright, good. 
So it's all about having clean alternatives to your food, isn't it? So come and just get a nice soup, especially in the winter, how it is outside now. Soups and garlic bread. Get yourself just a salad if that's what you want to be. Um, there's lots of offices around as well. So the good thing about that is you can order your food, they'll get it delivered to you. And the fat guy in the, in the corner can have his pizza. The vegan can get the salad. Everyone, you kind of cater for absolutely everyone over here. You've got your soups, you've got everything, so. Mm. So it's designed the same. Mmm, this is better than mama makes. It's been fun. Oh, mate. <laughs> lasagna is good. It's very moorish, isn't it? It makes you want to eat more. Oh, wow. That lasagna is so good. Do you know what, like? This is so... You know when the food is so good, it's like moorish. It makes you just want to eat more and more. I might have to go upstairs and order some the same thing again. <laughs> Freshly squeezed orange juice, I saw her make it. Mm. I'll wake you up here. Oh yeah. Let me go back to my pizza. Mm. Extra pineapples. Yeah. Mm. The thing about this pizza, it isn't heavy pizza, but it isn't greasy pizza. Feels clean, man. You don't even have to have this on your cheat day, you just have this on a normal day. Life's good right now. I feel like I must have some Italian in my blood somewhere. That's a good pizza. Do you know what, I think most people will come here, they might not get the lasagna because it doesn't stand out to you. Because obviously you get the theatre of making your own pizza and making your own pasta dish. But this lasagna is one of the best lasagnas I like, can remember having for a long time. So definitely give that lasagna a try. Oh yeah. Broccoli. A year ago, I would never touch a broccoli. This broccoli soup is actually nice. Mm. With a bread as well. Boom. Nice. To be fair, Pizza is the thing that we ain't eating as much of. Wow. The pizza's very good. So the great thing about this place as well is the food is all halal. So, again, everyone can come through, everyone can eat. Food just does taste really clean, so. Tell your friends, this has got to be one of the best halal spots. Surely, it does a bit of everything. This food is so delicious. Guys, I'm gonna just finish off the rest of this. I'm gonna catch up with you in a second, just to tell you like, this stuff's on point, but I'm gonna catch you outside, okay? Right guys, so I've just cleaned off that whole menu, and if I'm honest, it just felt clean. I didn't feel like I was having one of those challenges where I was stuffing my face. The good thing about it is there's lots of everything on the menu. You've got soups, you've got pasta, you've got lasagna, you've got pizza, you've got salad, you've got everything that you can have. You've got freshly squeezed orange juice. It's actually kind of clean. And um, you've seen me lose all the weight that I've lost. So there's a reason why I get to eat all this kind of food. And it just helped that was clean. So definitely if you're trying to keep fit, if you're trying to be healthy, if you're trying to just eat vegetables, Give it a go, you can whack out anything that you want. You can have something light, you can just have a soup, you can have something heavy and have a pizza, but the pizza wasn't even heavy if I was honest. So something I definitely recommend, co-signed by Shane Williams. And 
get down there. But for now, I'm just gonna chill for tonight, so peace. So for years, I've always come to Nando's, obviously, and I've always had a cheeky Nando. So I kind of went to the liberty of being like, well, Chandos, that's me. I have named that Chandos. And I'm walking down the street and I only go and see this. A Chandos place. And then before I even clock anything else, what else do I see? You've got to be shitting me. A Chandos at Chandos place. Behave. Thank you.